Okay, this is Jackie on the morning of his eye surgery. He's a 16 year old, men, pin, chihuahua, something, something, something mix. And he's blind. And That's cute. Deaf. And uh, he won't eat by himself. You can see that you can offer him the food and he'll turn away from it and he'll avoid it, but he doesn't want it. We started feeding him about 17 minutes ago. He gets uh, almost a full can of that food, that ID food, and we have to we have to feed him forcefully by lifting up his lip and putting the food up under his lip, and then if he cooperates, he'll eat it. And sometimes he spits it back out like that. Force it back under the lip, and then you can see. He'll eat. It's a very slow process. Jackie was diagnosed with diabetes on about January the 6th of this year. And he went blind shortly after that, like in March. And uh, we've been looking forward to this surgery for a few months now. And this is what we do every morning and every night. He eats quite a bit better for Danielle in the evening. She does the evening feedings. I do the morning feedings. For about the last week, he, Jackie has demanded that every single bite be put into his mouth. Yep. And we stay patient with him and and work with him until he gets all of the food in. The morning is the most important meal. Got to get all of his food in him in the morning, no matter how long it takes us. And then he gets his insulin right after that. So here in about five minutes or so, we're going to be done with the feeding part. And then I'll give him his insulin. And we'll start administering the uh, shots that he needs. Not shots, but the eye drops that he needs for this morning's surgery. <clears throat> and what did he test out this morning? His blood sugars this morning was, was 295. And uh, his surgery is scheduled for this afternoon. He has to go in and start prepping at 10 o'clock. Come on, I'm trying to clean himself up a little bit. But uh, it uh, it's a morning struggle. We're hoping that after his surgery, you'll see a difference in how he responds to food. And why was his fasting number so high this morning? Uh, his blood sugar was around 135, 140 in the, in the middle of the night, and he had to get a little snack to make sure that he didn't go, he didn't go low. And how come it was low last night? <clears throat> low last night? We believe it was low last night because... He had a, a good amount of exercise. We took him out to a Halloween festival over at Temecula at the, one of the wineries. And uh, he did really well. Walked probably, I don't know, half a mile, a little more than a half a mile. Yeah, you can see he spits a lot of it out. And we have to keep pushing it right back up in his cheek and gum. And then he'll eat some of it. Looks like we're just about down to the last three or four bites here. And then we'll clean up. And we'll get that insulin in him right away. And it's 5.10 in the morning. And he will have surgery this afternoon. He shouldn't have anything to eat for five or six hours before the surgery. And, and then we'll give an update. And then we'll let you know tomorrow or the next day and the next day about how his renewed sight affects his, his eating. We're hoping that he'll eat on his own. So that just about concludes this morning's breakfast. And we hope <laughs> that you that have diabetic dogs or blind dogs or dogs that won't eat, see that you just be patient and stay with them. That it's very important that they get their nutrition. Don't give up on them.